coming to New York, and you're coming to to actually Times Square, which is the largest theatre industry. And it's an extraordinary experience to come here and present your work, to have that opportunity in, in the only festival in the world that honours and gives a platform to the solo artist. It's an international show. I'm, I'm very fascinated by the idea that people came from all over the world and uh, and also that there's all different kinds of shows, there's music, there's uh, just straight plays, there's storytelling, there's puppetry, I think, there's whatever you could imagine. I just, I thought it was just a, a wonderful, a wonderful thing. You know, a great city, a great area, uh, a lot of talented people here, a lot of talented people involved in this, um, from the top all the way down to the performers. And yeah, there's just something, uh, even as, a, as an audience member, just to see the one person try to take it on all by himself, whether it be a short piece or a 90 minute piece or whatever, there's something exciting about that. Every home would now have a harp and army of young angels would arise, the town, the city, and then the world would be saved, all thanks to me. No matter who's in the audience, okay, great. Okay. Does that work out? Yep. I think that solo shows is it's a it's a great exercise for 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 actor to hold the audience attention for 50 minutes or more and uh, it, it's good to to meet people to meet artists around the world and um, I hope that's going to give some results if not it's going to be just just great experience. is an opportunity to see other solo performers and to join in and see how I fit into the theater community. Everybody has so much to offer. You know, I see somebody walk by me and they're a performer and I see them on stage and I see them transform themselves into something unexpected. I came across the United Solo Theater Festival through Backstage. So I did a bunch of research on it. I saw that Austin Pendleton has directed shows here. I definitely respect him a lot. He's amazing. And there were a lot of people in the industry who were listed. So I felt like it would be a good experience to be in it. Thank you to United Solo and its Academy for this recognition, which I share with my director, Scott Whitman, and musical director, Joseph Falcon. It's always a wonderful thing to win an award, but when it comes so unexpectedly and from such an eclectic and international group of artists as the Academy of United Solo, it's even more so. Thank you so much, Patti LuPone. It, it was incredible validation when I got accepted into this festival because it's not only the largest in the world, and I know there were lots of submissions and only 77 got in, but it, it was validation that I really did have something. I thought it was off-Broadway. I thought, this, is, this feels that good to me. It's 42nd Street between 9th and 10th, Theater Row. You know, it's a prime location and very nice theater. And every, other, every other festival I've done is like in some building on the fifth floor, in the back, through the hallway, down the stairs, behind the garbage can, you know, on a small stage. And this was just like a wonderful way to showcase uh, my show or anybody, any other solo show. I feel like it was very good. This solo performance is seen differently by by everybody and um, where some people uh, dismiss the solo performance as an art form as something that's a little self-indulgent or like a showcase for an actor there are others who see the solo performance as this sort of soul soul exposing moment for one actor to try to express everything they want to express with whatever tools they have so it's a test of technique we talk the whole rest of the night it's a great night when the night is over the lights come up we stand up, she gives me a sweet, sensual hug, looks into my eyes and she says, what you need now is a pure and simple rebound. A woman to take you home, press her body against you and give you nothing but physical love. And I look at her and I say, you're right. And she smiles at me and I smile back and I say, I swear to God, where am I gonna find someone like you? <laughs> I'm Austin Pendleton and I'm, I'm the I'm, a, I'm the director of a couple of the shows this year in the, in the United Solo Festival, and I'm very drawn to the festival, and I'm drawn to what we do at the festival. 
because some of the most exciting work that's going on right now that I'm aware of in New York is in the one-person show format. So it's fantastic that there is a, a festival devoted to that every year. That's the United Solo Festival. I feel invigorated, I feel energized, and I really think that anyone who has a, a similar piece, whether it's musical or non-musical, one-person show, you should apply because the, uh, the festival is a great platform. I think what met, makes United Solo so special is the professionalism, the level that you are, you're dealing with top-notch administrators, um, people who really know the form of, of solo performing and the, the support that you get. United Solo unites both national and international artists. Uh, they come from unique places, they share exquisite stories, they prove how diverse we are. And this diversity unites us all.